Right, hello guys and welcome to today's video and you're probably wondering what's going on what am i watching here this isn't a gameplay you're right this isn't the gameplay but what i am showing you is my search prior to this game because this is something i'm gonna have to discuss throughout the video and i did this before but this time this is something that just doesn't make sense to me you, you, you guys are gonna realize this okay now you've probably seen the title and the thumbnail and you're thinking this is an unbelievable gameplay, which it is, in my opinion, in some way, but I'm not impressed with it, okay? This is a double nuclear, that's right, not just one nuke, but two nukes in the same game with the AK-74U without reverse boosting, okay? Now, some of you aren't going to believe this when I show you what gameplay I got, like, what lobby I got into, but that's why I'm showing you right now my search, okay? Prior to this lobby, I didn't join a bot account, I didn't do any of that, I don't re reverse boost, I don't sit there and, like, die a load of times before games. I'm going to leave my card tracker in the link below. Hopefully it will be like be able to be seen. If not, what you guys can do is the actual Call of Duty mobile app. You can search my gamer tag. Search Taz X Gold or Taz V Gold. I can't remember my Xbox gamer tag. I think it's Taz V Gold. Search Taz V Gold and you will find my, my matches, my previous 10 games and stuff. And you will see I haven't reverse boosted. But as you can see, I built up the scoreboard. And as you have seen there... Loads of people are low leveled. They are not prestige. They are below prestige one. They are also actually a four man team. So maybe this was influenced by whoever their party leader was because there is one guy who's prestiged. I have no idea. But as you can see, these people aren't shooting back. They're low leveled. They're not prestiged. And they're not going to shoot me back. Yes, I died in the beginning. But guys, I go 71 and 2, I believe. And again, I get the double nuke. As you can see, there's a guy who's level 6. I have not had a single game like that, because again, if I did have a game like this, you guys would have seen it on the channel by now. This is the first time I've ever got into a lobby like this, and it basically looks reverse boosted. It genuinely looks reverse boosted. And I can't explain how this has happened. So, obviously I wasn't going to back out, because I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything to get in this lobby, and again, that's why I'm proving everything that I need to prove. I've showed you my search, so you guys know that I didn't join a bot account, I didn't do anything to influence the search, I actually loaded up the game, like I normally do, got on, just hopped on one day, and started playing the game. And it gave me this lobby. I can't explain it. But I also, I'm going to leave a link to my card tracker down below, showing you guys my last 10 games, 20 games, whatever it is you need to see, my overall KD. Even at the end, I show my, like, the games before, it shows my last 10 games, I show you my overall KD. I shouldn't have been in this lobby. I don't understand it. There's also going to be a glitch at the halftime uh, state. As you can see when I'm killing these people, they don't have nuke calling cards, but at the halftime mark, I go to check their KDs. I go to check how well they're doing. Because I was curious. You know, I wanted to see, like, are these people genuinely, like, my skill level? Or am I just randomly being put in here? So, you're going to see, I'm going to own these people, okay? And it's not for me being incredible at the game or anything. And again, I'm using this AK-74U class, by the way, which... I am going to kind of like promote this here, but I do have a video for that class setup if you guys are interested, because the, the class setup is insane, okay? The AK-74U is by far and away the best gun in the game, in my opinion, and this class setup is nuts. And I'm also going to be doing another thing as well, because I have just discovered some amazing settings for the Xbox Elite controller, and that's what you're seeing here as well, is my new settings in action. So the old settings video I do have up is still valuable, it's still good in my opinion, but these new settings I have are actually insane, so expect a video about that soon. But yeah, you can see... These people aren't turning around, they're not shooting at me, they don't know what's going on, and I'm going to pick up the nuke in a second, you know, it's quite, it's easy, it's like shooting bots, you know, it's like I've reverse boosted, but I haven't. So again, you guys, if you don't believe me, you saw my search, go to my card tracker after if you genuinely don't believe me, go look at my last games, again, at the end of this game, I show you my last 10 games or what it shows, but I'm pretty sure it shows only the last 10 games for Raid Hardpoint, I believe, or Domin no, Domination, which I'm playing right now. So Raid Domination, I believe it shows my last 10 games are played of Raid Domination, not my actual last 10 games. I want you guys to know this is legit. So again, there's the nuke. I wasn't impressed when I was doing this. I genuinely was just sitting here in amazement that I was in this lobby. And this leads into the theory that I believe there isn't really skill-based matchmaking here. For all the people who believe, now as you can see I died there, got an unfortunate death, but... It does help me here, because now you're going to see the start of the second streak. I'm going to go on my second nuke attempt here. Because I thought, why not? I'm in this lobby. I didn't do anything for it. I was handed this lobby. And I'm going to take it. You know, I'm not going to sit there and, like, hate on it, like me getting this lobby. But I knew, I know that some of you guys are going to question this. Question the legitimacy of this. And I do too. That's why I'm sitting here telling you this. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I just beat the absolute best players ever. Because I did. So as you can see, I have to scroll through. And I know that all these people look like they have nuke calling cards. But they don't, okay? I guarantee, as you can see, even the other team who we're absolutely dismantling, I say we, 
honestly, it is mainly me dismantling them. Again, I shouldn't have been in this lobby. I don't know why I was in here. I think the matchmaking may have messed up or something. I don't know. But as you can see, they don't have nuke calling cards, so just ignore that. It's just some weird glitch. So yeah, next half, I'm going to start the nuke streak again. You know, I'm going to go and try and get the nuke, because why not? How many times do you get a lobby like this, especially when you don't reverse boost, to be able to get a double nuke? So if this is, if this is one thing as well that goes into proving what I'm saying as well about YouTubers making fake gameplays, when they get into lobbies like this, however they do it, you know, the whole reverse boosting, getting deaths or whatever, again, I didn't reverse boost. I don't know how I got in here. I shouldn't have been in here. This is going to be flow the truth. I don't know why I was in here. Showed you my search. Check my card tracker. Whatever you need. I know I'm repeating myself here. But I want you guys to know that everything I do on this channel is legit. And this gameplay is something that just doesn't look legit. I'm sitting here telling you that. Because I just think it, it looks terrible. In one way, like, again, it is a good gameplay. But I'm against people who, as you can see, aren't shooting, sitting in corners not moving, playing bots. As you can see, even my teammates are shooting at me. Like, they, they think I'm a genuine, you know, uh, I'm an enemy or something. They can't tell the difference between the blue name and the red name, etc. Which, again, I don't know if they're, like, young kids or if they've got, you know, mental disabilities again. I didn't want to be in lobbies like this. This is not something that I'm trying to promote to you guys. But I don't know what happened here, okay? I have no clue. But the only thing I could say is, this goes into showing that maybe skill-based matchmaking isn't what it all it seems. And maybe plays more into the fact that it's actually PBMM, which is performance-based matchmaking, okay? And again, you can see my previous game to this. I didn't actually do terrible in my last game. My last game previous to this was a 1.5 KD game. And I think I went like 15 and 10 or something. I can't remember, I didn't go check. So it wasn't a horrible game. It wasn't a great game. But it is definitely not a game that should have put me in this lobby. It should never have put me in this lobby. You know, we lost the last game. Maybe that played an influence. I don't know. But I think also... It could also play into the fact of a retention-based matchmaking, and this is the one thing that I think is going around a lot. Basically, I might have been thrown in this lobby, because maybe the game felt like I wasn't going to play for the rest of the night, which obviously I had plans to. I was still going to play regardless of that 15 and 10 game I got previously. You know, it's not a terrible scoreline, it's not a great scoreline, but it's nothing like to be ashamed of. It's, it's, most people probably accept a 15 and 10 game. Again, it's a pretty average game, maybe for some people, maybe an above average game. But there's nothing, to, you know, to make me want to quit playing the game or not, you know, turn on the game or close down the application. But basically, this game, I think, just handed me this game. Put me in this lobby and said, here you go, you're going to have fun. And again, this is the first time this has happened to me. And I've had two days, two days and a bit playtime in this game. And this is the first time this has happened to me. I've ever had a lobby like this. And again, with what is supposed skill-based matchmaking, you know, what everyone wants to call it, the overall name that everyone calls it, which is skill-based matchmaking... You'd think you would never get a lobby like this. That's how I thought. Because again, I've played games like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. Maybe maybe it's a bit different Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 had some pretty like crazy lobbies like this sometimes. But games after Black Ops 2, like with BO3, BO4, I have never... And these games will claim to you know, not have skill-based matchmaking, but they do. You know, they have a protected bracket. But I never, ever got lobbies this easy. And this is a Call of Duty which everyone says, this has the strictest skill-based matchmaking they've ever seen. Which I agree, you know, I play a lot of people with new calling cards a lot, people who can shoot back, and you see that in my gameplays, I show you the stats of the other team, 2KD, sometimes 3KD players, you know, they might be that insane. I don't have a 3KD personally, but I could try to, but if it keeps giving me lobby like this, lobbies like this, who knows, maybe I will have a 3KD. But yeah, so this happened, and I don't understand it. I can't explain it. And again, that's why I'm being as 100% transparent as I can with you this. I'm not going to sit here and pretend this gameplay was insane for the fact that you know, I, I beat some, I'd say, like, I could sit there and pretend that these were good players, but you, you, you guys would see through that even if I tried to. At the end of the day, you can see they're not shooting back, they're not doing anything amazing, they're standing around, they're neat, you know, they're laying flat on the B flag, they're not doing anything amazing. They would show you that this is a lobby of my skill level, which it absolutely wasn't. Again, as you can see, I'm able to run away from this guy. If this was a normal lobby, that guy would have probably killed me quite easily. You know, AK-74U, probably the similar class to mine, would have probably killed me. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay. I should really be talking about the gameplay. Again, it is a good gameplay. I do go 72, 71 and 2, sorry. But I just don't understand why I was in this lobby. As you see, I scroll through the KDs. I shouldn't have been in this lobby. And this is an amazing gameplay. But I can't, I just can't understand why I was in this lobby. Again, you guys can check my card tracker. You guys can check, you can see that I searched for the game myself. I didn't join a bot account. Nothing like that. Did nothing to manipulate the matchmaking and ended up in this lobby. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, it's an insane gameplay, and you'll even see at the end, I show my previous 10 or whatever it shows. As you can see, I scroll through it and show you that. And I also show you my overall KD. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe notifications on, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye!